Uh, g'day all. Uh, it's Saturday night over here in Perth, and uh, it's about what 10:30, and uh, listening to yet another contest being held from our northern neighbours up in Indonesia and uh, Japan. It's every, like every second week there's a contest going on on 40 metres. Uh, yeah, so this is the uh, FT 101E. I've had this radio for a couple of years. Never transmitted on it. I've used it a couple of times as in a receiver. Uh, as I said, you know, I'm going to take the radio through, and this one's in really good nick. Uh, I was really lucky to get hold of this one. Uh, everything is in uh, really good conditions. Got a couple of little war, war marks there, but I don't stress out about that too much considering the, uh, the age of the radio. So, yeah, I don't know a lot about those radios, as in how to set them up to be, you know, spot on. Um, I have to do some research and obviously ask a few people. Um, the old Bell Radio is uh, really good. Like the audio coming out of this is exceptional. What a great little, well, I shouldn't even say little because it's not that little and uh, weighs a fair bit for obvious reasons, but what a great simple radio this would have been to use back in the day. And when, when the FT-101A came out, it was like cutting edge and I don't know, they must have sold Oh, tens of thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of these things. But uh, yeah, they seem to be getting harder and harder to get in good condition. And um, yeah, I'm really lucky to have this one. Uh, all the paint's in really good nick. Uh, the face plate's in exceptional good nick. Somebody's taken the plastic off. I don't mind that. Uh, yeah, you can leave it on for so long and then it starts to look ratty and then you're actually detracting from the uh, joy of using the radio if you've got plastic on there that's been on on the face plate for 40 odd years, so I'll just turn that down, it's probably a bit annoying now. Um, yeah, so it, uh, yeah, couldn't be happy with this radio, and um, see if I can uh, do a bit of research in the next day or two and uh, fire it up on uh, 20 metres, uh, was really booming in a bit earlier on tonight, and uh, there were some good stations coming out of Europe, out of Germany and everything like that, so I'd love to make some contacts with this old girl and uh, this is the way it was back in the day and um, yeah you can't beat quality can you that they, they don't make them like this anymore uh, probably obviously because of technology but also the fact that yeah, it'd be interesting to see how much it would cost to uh, build this radio in today's money okay i hope you like this this is uh yeah one of my favorite old boat anchors i suppose yeah well that's what they call them boat anchors i don't know why they ever got uh, called that uh, uh, probably because of the weight, but yeah, I wouldn't be throwing this one into the ocean. 73s for now. Thanks for watching.